never seen a bear with antlers. Neither have I. That being said, today we have a 2005 Pontiac Grand Prix with the 3.8 liter engine. We already have approval from the customer to replace both front wheel bearings. Both front wheel bearings are dangerously loose. Uh, we are also replacing both front sway bar links and I already replaced a battery in it because it had to get towed in because when he went to bring it down here, the battery was absolutely dead. So, parts should be here shortly. We're gonna walk through this whole process today on doing these wheel bearings. Today has already been a pretty cool day. We had the water heater at the house blow up, spew water all over the place. Of course, I was already at the shop, so I wasn't there to take care of it, but thankfully, we rent still. Um, and so that was a phone call to get that taken care of and I don't have to worry about the mess. I'll be taken care of by the time I get home. So we have parts. Our parts guys come in the back door here and they've all got parts shelves. We've got factory motor parts up there, auto value and Napa. So they all got parts drops here and then, you know, returns all go back there. So here's our wheel bearings. Let's get at it. say that's toast. One pin has the rubber cushion on it, the other one does not, so I like to mark the caliper on which side it goes just to make sure we get it done right. Sun could use some brake pads soon. Get a little thin. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was loose. Swivel boys hit you in the teeth, or you ain't gonna have no teeth anymore. Rotor's pretty rough shape, too. This thing's definitely I've spent some time sitting, it's getting all blistered on the surface. Oh, she is toasty. about eight shit over here. <clears throat> oh, I tell ya. Well, that ain't gonna work. But you gotta try being gentle before you're rough, I guess. Probably have 
have to pull our tie rod in, which I'd really like to not do. Let's see what kind of room we got here. <laughs> but be very careful not to pull apart your CV joint, which in this case doesn't really matter because it's as fuck. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna get it? Yes, we are. Very nice. So, on this one in particular, um, normally I wouldn't necessarily pull the CV axle all the way out, but for the two bolts that it takes, we can get in here and get the um, bore cleaned up for the bearing just a little bit better. Plus, uh, we don't have to fight trying to get the bolts for the bearing out. Um, this just makes life that much easier. I see that the last person that did this job apparently put the put the dust shield on wrong instead of taking it off and fixing it just cut it off nice and holy shit they also did the same thing i did they ordered the wrong wheel bearing but they just cut the wires off of here the ironic part of this is i'm pretty sure these wheel bearings were done not that long ago but whoever did it didn't torque the axle nut so. <laughs> Got to be careful using um, anything to clean up this surface. Make sure your ABS sensor isn't in here on most cars. Obviously, this car, like we already discussed, has no ABS, but um, a lot of times on cars, they're through the knuckle here, so you don't want to just go buck wild without checking it first. cleaned up pretty nice this is what we call the good stuff around here fluid film most jobs get a coat of this I think I could use anti-seize but this stuff works really well it's easy to apply so that's what we work with That, boys and girls, is the easiest sway bar link I've ever removed. You can almost never get them out without them spinning, but somebody also put this in at one point. I don't know what brand it was, but this is also one of the cheapest uh, sway bar links I've ever seen, and it does not look like there's ever any grease inside of it. So this thing is bone dry and absolutely junk, so. Yes, sir. I'm going to clean up this rotor surface a little bit. Rotor's not great, but out of principle, I want my hubs clean since we're putting new wheel bearings on here. <laughs> And no, we are not putting in that piece of brake dust shield. That has now ceased to exist. Get yourself a torque wrench set to the proper torque setting. Torque down your bolts. Torque them down. 
tight. Times three. Give that a little splooge. yourself some nuts. So at this point, I do uh, usually seat this down tight, you know, just to make sure it's pulled in all the way, and then I back it off just a little bit. A little splooge on here. We are going to tighten this down a tad bit better than it was before. For me, these next couple steps are important to do prior to the torquing nut, and I will show you why in a minute. Big fat screwdriver. So at this point, you get yourself a torque spec. In this case, it is 118 foot pounds. You look at your brake rotor and realize you stuck your screwdriver in the wrong side. So you switch it around, you put your fancy tool on here, give her a fucking squeeze, and you over torque it. And you double check that you over torqued it. And pull in your nuts and then throw on a caliper. Remember that we marked one of them for the rubber bushing. Slip that in there. And squeeze in there. Slide pin boots seal up good. And that's a wrap. All right, this side just needs a sway bar link. And we'll be wrapped up. And we want clean surfaces, so we'll get this cleaned up. You don't want to use anything too abrasive, but these um i don't know what they are they're some sort of rust removal pads they're really nice for cleaning up even aluminum and stuff as far as wheels are concerned taking rust and crud off give it a squirt of the good stuff and that's ready to go back on our napa special sway bar link
There are certain things that I find, you know, brands, I guess like anybody else, that I like. And for suspension, I generally like Mevotech, at the very least, their Mevotech line, otherwise their TTX line, especially in the Silverados and things like that. Um, but certain vehicles are just not, um, not worth sometimes putting in that better quality stuff. Um, the vehicle ain't gonna last as long as those parts will. So, you know, it's obviously in the customer's hands as to what they wanna do, but and in this case, you know, we're throwing in some Napa, Napa Special. Well, that definitely went on harder than it came off, but that takes care of that. and his suspension has play. Because most often, beat up old cars like this definitely have a lot wrong with them. And they have that bad of a wheel bearing on them. There's generally more than just a wheel bearing wrong with them, but until the wheel bearing is replaced, you can't see anything else on here that's loose. Nice. That was a magic trick right there. Let me know if you've seen that. Tie rod end plate. Inner tie rods. Just fucked. With that, this wheel bearing and sway bar link is done on this side. Obviously, we found something else that the customer wouldn't need to take care of at some point. Uh, that's going to be in his ballpark to take care of or give us the head, go ahead to do it. Um, so we'll bring that up to him, give him a quote for that. Other than that, I need to set this thing down, torque this wheel. And before I do that, I have to go do the other wheel bearing and sway bar link on the other side. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. Um, down in the comments section, follow along on Instagram, ChristianW.Buyer, if you so choose. And other than that, get after it.